And uh, look at that, another lifeboat just escaped. Oh my gosh, there they all go. All at once, holy cow. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Tiny Sailor's World, and today we are checking out some more ships. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, here we are in Cherbourg, and today we are checking out the Asama Maru. This was a Japanese ocean liner, and um, yeah, it looks very, very interesting here. It's got a lot of beam support, probably canvas support actually, all over the front of the vessel. It's got two nice funnels as well as a nice bridge and forward superstructure. And of course you have the midsection superstructure and just a bit of aft superstructure as well. So yeah, this ship is really well uh, put together. I really do like it and it looks great in game. So today we are going to be sailing to Tokyo because it is a Japanese liner. And yeah, let's see if we can still load up some passengers. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and load them up all the way here. So. 822 and 83 should do there we go all right so we are loaded up with some passengers and cargo and we are heading to tokyo so yeah here we go and as we do it look at that beautiful sunrise we see the olympic or maybe the rms britannic or even the titanic in the distance there and yeah, just beautiful. It does look really nice. Now, the one good thing about having a really wide render distance or long render distance is you can see all of these towns and uh, islands, I should say, uh, all around. So you can see Cape Town, you can see Halifax, you can even see New York just in the distance there. So that's super, super cool. Now, looking on the top deck here, right above the lifeboats, there are a lot of vents. There are actually a ton of vents around the funnels there. And uh, that's for adequate ventilation throughout the ship. So, uh, since they're facing forward, I would assume that they're actually just taking in air instead of, of course, pumping uh, exhaust fumes out. So, yeah, very, very cool. And we do have a few little superstructure bits with these nice arched windows as well. So, yeah, really, really cool. And you have green lifeboats as well. That's nice. Now, this is really cool. You can barely see in there, but there's a few people and a few benches just under the uh, the main forecastle deck as well. So, yeah, that's really cool that they have those tiny little details included. They could have just made it lights and whatnot, but no, they actually have nice interior in there. And I don't think that this is a too recent ship that's been uploaded to the game. So, yeah, really cool that they have it. But, um, yeah, we're sailing along the ocean here. We don't have any rain, no storms, nothing like that, which is great because it's nice to have a relaxing crossing once in a while. Now, this ship does have a traditional 1920s forward flat superstructure here. You would see this a lot in these uh, types of ships, these ocean liners. And, yeah, it's cool to see that this ship included it as well. Probably not the most aerodynamic design, but uh, it's a design nonetheless. Now one of the things I find interesting about 1920s ocean liners is that they are really stubby. I mean look at these funnels. They're not as tall as the 1910s or even the 1900 style ships and you had these giant vertical front facing superstructures which I talked about earlier and um, yeah it's just something very interesting. It's not really appealing to me but um, yeah I kind of like the taller funneled ones or even the 1980s type ocean liners and cruise ships because they were really nice looking. They had really sleek designs and as you can see we've just gotten out of the harsh weather. We still have a bit of fog but we're heading towards Tokyo so we'll be there very soon. So far so good. No problems yet. We haven't encountered anything and we are really starting to approach Tokyo here so I'm going to make the assumption there are no mines, at least in the area that we're heading right now, which is great, but uh, we'll see if there's more ship traffic as we get closer. I would assume yes. All right, I see Tokyo. You can see the buildings right in the distance there, as well as some land and more buildings on the left. So here we are, and uh, it is getting quite foggy here, actually way more foggy than before, I think. And yeah, look at that as we approach into the harbor in Tokyo. So yeah, we're going to drop off our passengers and then we're going to sink the ship. And that was a really, really uneventful voyage. So I'm pretty proud of myself there. Um, even though I probably had no control, I was just heading in one direction and I guess I got lucky. So let's go ahead and let's turn the ship back out to sea and then we're going to sink it, of course. Now, I know not a lot of us like to see the unusual stern style sinkings, but that's what we're going to do today with this vessel. So we're going to sail it out and sink it by the stern. Whether we do port to starboard, I don't know. We'll see how I feel when we get there. All right, so we are a decent distance away from Tokyo. Now we're going to press X 
and of course we're going to sink by the stern and I think we'll go ahead and sink uh, let's do by starboard list here and now we are beginning to sink so we're not in too deep water as you can see there so we might hit bottom before we actually go down but uh, yeah as you can see the ship is beginning to roll onto its side quite rapidly that is and the uh, stern deck is about to start flooding yeah there it goes we've got rockets launching we got flares launching and of course lifeboats are lowering away only two have gotten away now so oh nope we got three going away okay so we're getting lots of passengers off well we're not getting all the passengers, we're getting the crew off, because those would be the people on board the ship, so we don't need to use all the lifeboats. I would say maybe five, six lifeboats would be enough for the whole crew, but at this stage, it's getting almost impossible to lower those lifeboats. I mean, I just saw someone fall into the water, maybe it was a piece of cargo, but, um, yeah, look at that, she is going down, it's time for me to abandon ship, folks, and there we go. So, here we are, we're in the water, and she is really, really going down, look at that! rapidly going down there only one more funnel to collapse and yeah she's gonna be gone and i think she might hit bottom yeah you can just see it. there it goes the ship has sunk to the bottom here on its side this is actually quite a realistic wreck we've been getting a few realistic wrecks recently so yeah i'm glad to continue the tradition here so let's go ahead and move on to the next ship all right here is the next ship we are checking out we are sailing away from halifax and this is the mauritania the lusitania's sister and yeah, we are in a massive storm. And speaking of storms, the Lusitania actually encountered a massive rogue wave and uh, it damaged its bridge. But luckily, we're the Mauritania and we won't be dealing with that today. But we are dealing with a pretty big storm. Now, uh, hopefully we're going to get there very soon or get to New York because that's where we're sailing. And um, yeah, we're going to be uh, going at full speed all the way there. But um, yeah, we're sailing at 24, 25-ish knots at this point. And, uh, we are really rolling around here. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, look at how high the bound gets out of the water with each wave here. Holy crap! Oh my gosh. Wow, this is a pretty nasty storm, and we're sailing towards some land, so let's turn to the left here. Holy cow. The propellers are even coming out of the water. That's how bad it is right now. But, uh, I'm hoping we'll be sailing out of this storm very soon. Oh my gosh, yep. Big, big rolls and swells. Oh my gosh. Now, one of the things we do have to worry about when we're sailing towards New York is mines and torpedoes, because they are definitely around this area, especially around the land. So, uh, yeah, let's be careful. Wow, look at underwater there. You can see the lights just going under the water and then coming out of the water and then going underwater. It's crazy. All right, we are almost to New York. We are passing by the land here. And luckily, I don't see any uh, submarines or U-boats or anything like that. So, uh, we should be okay for now, and, um, yeah, we're almost there, so that's good. Now that we can see some more, and it's also 5 in the morning, we can actually adjust our course here, and we're luckily out of that storm as well. So, we have survived quite a bit, uh, in the Mauritania here, and, um, yeah, we don't have any passengers aboard because, uh, I was worried this thing was gonna go down. Uh, just based on it being the Lusitania sister. So, yeah. Alright, so we're running into some thicker fog here, which is okay because we can see everything fine. But um, the one thing I am going to worry about is the fact that other ship traffic might be very close around New York. So, we might have a small collision. But uh, that's only speculation. Luckily, the weather is a nice flat calm. And um, we have a wonderful sunrise here. The passengers are going to be waking up and seeing New York Harbor in any moment here. So, yeah. Now, before we end off this ship's life and the video, I do want to go ahead and show you the other skin that is available for this ship. So, if we switch out, we have the actual hospital ship version. And um, are we sinking by the bow slightly? That's quite interesting. Okay. Well, uh, let's go ahead and switch back out to the normal uh, RMS configuration. There we go. Now, since this ship also didn't sink, we are going to create a custom sinking for it. And I think we are going to do a sink by starboard. So not going down by the bow completely, just rolling on its side a little bit. All right, I think this is good. We'll be sinking outside of the harbor. So if there's any other ships, they can rescue us. So let's go ahead. We're going to sink with a... Yeah, we're going to sink with a starboard list. So, here we go. And we should be rolling over. And yes, we are. There she goes. She's rolling on her side right now. Very quickly. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Yep, she is really going down. We got one lifeboat away. Um, Is that it? We're only going to launch one lifeboat? I really hope not because uh, there's quite uh, a few crew members on board. I don't think one lifeboat's going to cut it. But it looks like it's too late now. 
She is really rolling on his side now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, nope. Another one just got away. Just before that side of the boat deck plunged under the icy cold waters there. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I'm a little interested to see what happens to the funnels. Because they're all going to touch the water simultaneously. And uh, look at that. Another lifeboat just escaped. Oh my gosh. There they all go. All at once. Holy cow. So yeah, she is completely rolled on her side. Uh, no funnels. Kind of looking a little funny there without any funnels at all. That is really hilarious looking. But yeah, she is rapidly going down. That is a very eerie sight underwater as well. Look at that. The ship is completely going under. And uh, yeah, there goes the Mauritania there. Rapidly sinking. Let's hop off. And there we go. We've hopped off the ship. And she is sinking very quickly now. So uh, we can actually walk on it as well. So that's quite interesting. Of course, I'm invisible here. But um, yeah, she is definitely going down. Um, and there's a lot of people on board. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's water flooding in rapidly there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, she is about to finally go under there. Holy cow. All right, that's it. That is the end of the Mauritania. The water quickly laps over the uh, rest of the superstructure there. And it's gone. She is dropping under, and, um, yeah, there she goes. She's heading to the bottom. Wow, quite ominous there. You can see there's some carnage down here. No, it actually just looks like one funnel there. Oh, wow, yeah, everything just ripped out of her there. Oh, is she going to hit the side there? Oh, yep, yeah, she is. Oh, gosh, wow. Yep, there we go. So that is the wreck of the Mauritania. Very, very cool. We had two really cool sinkings this episode. And, uh, yeah. Alright, guys, if you just want to make sure you leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.